very much. I want to talk to um, Jonathan Hemus. Uh, Jonathan is a crisis management expert from Birmingham-based Insignia Communications. He's on the line now. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning, Pete. Uh, so, uh, joining us on Skype, what do you make of this situation, Jonathan? Well, clearly Andrew Mitchell is in a, a very difficult situation and it is partly of his own making. Uh, in a situation like this, whether you're an individual or a business, there are really two things that you do that you then hope enable you to move on. The first thing is to say sorry. Uh, and the second thing is, in saying sorry, make sure that you are telling the truth. Now, some apologies work. Uh, some apologies don't work. For example, Tony Hayward's apology in the BP oil crisis when he said, I'm sorry, I want my life back. That was not a wholehearted apology, and no. therefore it did not work. So why hasn't, I mean, because uh, Andrew Mitchell has apologised, why has that not worked? I think the reason that has not worked is that uh, in this instance, the situation has been sustained by the conflict uh, and the difference of opinion between him and the police. If no one had challenged uh, the fact that he did not say the words that he was alleged to have said, then I think the situation would have moved on quicker. It's the fact that we have the difference of opinion between him and the police. And his problem is that maybe not personally going into this crisis, but I think we all recognise that trust in politicians is not at an all-time high. People doubt their credibility and doubt that they're always telling the whole truth when they do speak. Therefore, he doesn't carry great credibility into the situation when he's being challenged by another group of people, the police who perhaps carry greater credibility and greater trust. Would you have advised him to go to the party conference? I think given he had decided to stay on, he had a very difficult choice to make there. If he is not going to resign straight away, then I think his analysis that he would have become a distraction and been hounded and had microphones stuck under his nose and protesters uh, in front of his car at every corner, I think he's right in that assessment. And therefore, I think it would have become an even bigger sideshow if he had attended. Clearly, it still became a newsworthy issue that he didn't attend. So in many ways, he was in a no-win situation there. But I think out of the two options, given he had stayed on, it was probably the lesser of two evils. We just heard from Henry Hill there, Conservative Party blogger, and uh, uh, it was interesting him saying that, you know, the chief whip is someone that really shouldn't be visible. We shouldn't know anything about them. They need to have an untarnished reputation. That kind of description almost makes Andrew Mitchell's position untenable, doesn't it? I think it's getting close to that. I think it is one of those positions where you need a high level of, of credibility, where your reputation does need to be untainted. And yes, he's in a position where he does not want to be the story. He, he, he should not be the focus of attention. And I think his strategy now is one of three things, really. Either the police come out after this meeting and say they're happy and everyone's agreed and, uh, you know, everybody is now singing from the same hymn sheet. I somehow doubt that's, that's going to happen. Secondly, that time just moves on and over a period of time this does get forgotten but I think there's a way still to go on that or thirdly maybe his best hope is that a bigger scandal or a bigger crisis breaks than someone else becomes the story of the day all right okay all right Jonathan thanks very much Jonathan Hemus from Birmingham based Insignia Communications Jonathan is a crisis management expert they're just giving us his lead on Andrew Mitchell we're asking you is it time to just you know forgive and forget and move on from this a couple of his constituents are saying absolutely that's what we should be doing what about you 08453 00956 BBC WM 95.6